The second rule we're talking about today is, is grating carrots. You know, when you grate them, uh, you break the cell walls down. They become very sweet. It really changes mm -hmm. their flavor, it does, which is yep. nice. Uh, and the other thing is this is a Moroccan carrot salad. So we're doing something interesting. We're adding two tablespoons of lemon juice, a quarter cup of olive oil. You know, and that old rule about three to one or four to one olive oil. Oh, of, of the, yeah, it's just right, nonsense. for dressing. You know, right. Some dressings are just vinegar. Some dressings are just olive oil. Like in, in Paris in a bistro, right. they might just use some sort of neutral oil. We're also adding one other thing, which I love to add. Oh, pomegranate oh, molasses. Pomegranate molasses. Now, you can add honey if you want, but mm. this is slightly, uh, it has a sort of an acidic, sour, sweet taste to it. So when you make a salad dressing, adding something like that really changes Agra the profile. Agra dolce, sour Agra and sweet dolce. at the same time, beautiful. Uh, it also has uh, pistachios in it, have some apricot, has olives in it. Oh, look, this is a snack size just for me. <laughs> mm. do, do, do you like to eat or what? Um, another thing that's interesting is you should keep some whole uh, spices at home, not just ground. Uh, cardamom, I, I mean, uh, uh, cumin and coriander are two good ones. So we took a teaspoon and a half of all, a whole cumin and toasted it. Just put it in a skillet for a couple minutes, uh, move it back and forth, medium, high heat. Mm -hmm. And that has a lot of... <laughs> Man, you're... <laughs> R remind me we should go eat out together sometime. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to sit across the table. Uh, so, mm. so it gives you that really nice flavor and really amps up the flavor. It's much better than ground. So it's a good time. If you're a fan of Spinal Tap, which is one of the greatest movies ever made, it's like turning the volume up to 11. <laughs> so this is something you all recognize, which is a lousy supermarket tasteless tomato. So one of the things you can do, we have a few ways of doing it, is transforming this and adding flavor. So I don't know about you, but even in August, I have a hard time finding good tomatoes. I agree. Maybe no. for two weeks. I you have to literally grow your own, and we yeah. get our seeds from Italy. We burn our soil every year. We burn the dead vines every year and turn it back into the soil. And there's still some years where they're great, and most years they're not so great. You know what I mean? It, it's really so many variables. So we're going to slow roast these in a 325 oven for about three hours. Three things we put on them. Balsamic vinegar, a white balsamic. You could use regular if you like. Tomato paste, a quarter cup. So clever. It has, obviously, the flavor of tomatoes. A concentrated tomato. And olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And just put them on a piece of parchment in a half baking tray like this, as I said, for three, three and a half hours. They're absolutely fabulous. And you can use those in a sandwich. You can use those, actually, you chop it up and use it in a sauce you or a salad. You can just eat them. Or you could be like delicious. Rachel and just eat everything on the counter here. Yeah, that's right.